Buonasera a tutti, sono Vittoria Cabello. Good afternoon, my name is Vittoria Cabello and we are here at the first episode of the talk show hosted uh, on the brand new online platform. It's an entirely dedicated platform dedicated to design, not because we are sitting on stalls, but because we are just uh, presenting the new uh, platform on the Salone Milano. In 2021, the Salone de Milano enters into a new phase, it changes look. However, some features will remain unchanged. For instance, uh, the stay in our wonderful uh, uh, design capital in uh, Milan and of course you will you will get to know the town of Barbasso and uh, you'll be thrilled because you'll be the first and last one to find the last room available in Milan and the parking will be a nightmare as usual you'll have this however today we're here today with our guests, with guests to understand what's going to happen in this new Salone del we will have some guests with us, we have uh, Stefano Boeri with us and other people, and we talk about this amazing platform, which is Active Life from today, and uh, we'll, this platform will allow us to experience this Salone 365 days uh, a year with fantastic um, contents, talks and events that have no um, uh, date, and uh, we're just getting to know each other, and I'll tell you there will be a Q&A session so you can leave your questions in our um, Q&A box. So we're ready to start the talk show. Thank you. And I'm here with my guests, and uh, they are the hosts, let's um, put this right. So I will start to introduce uh, an amazing woman, Maria Porro. She is the president of Sarredo, and she is the first in the story of Sarredo. So congratulations. She is the marketing director of Porro SPA, and she has a degree in uh, the Brera University and within the board of directors. She prefers uh, some oil paintings compared to slides when she does her presentations. We shall see this. We also have Claudio Feltrin. He is the uh, uh, Federlenio president. He is president general director of Arper and he is an, uh, um, a passionate cyclist. Um, uh, um, recently he did the round uh, uh, so, um, tour of uh, the Como Lake and I know why he did it, because he was ahead. He was already trying to find a strategic park gig in view of this uh, Monore del Mobile, because you know that it would be impossible to park, but luckily um, the public transport works very well, so don't worry. And we also have Marco Sabetta, of course. Uh, last but not least, of course, he doesn't need much introduction. He is the general director of Salone de Milano, del Mobile di Milano, and I'm extremely thrilled to get to know him. And I, I have also found out that I have so many things in common with Mr. Sabetta. We are both passionate about music, we are passionate about animals, and we also uh, love uh, subs. So, Sabetta. Merchants. And uh, I, I, so I'm get, I'm sitting down and I'm telling you, we are, uh, we could have been a couple, we could have been, uh, we could be partners. Well, there's still time. I don't know whether my. So we can my, remedy, I'm sure we can remedy. That's okay. But we have so many things in common. We, you could, at least you could have get to uh, choose the furnishings of my uh, wedding uh, for my new house. So it would be amazing. I could have changed them the following day, but anyway, uh, thanks for being here, and I will start with Claudio. Claudio. Well, in, in the last year, there has been a, a sharp acceleration when, in terms of digital. And I'm just telling you that uh, in my dreams, I talked to Alexia, just to give you an idea. However, I know that Salone was already heading towards that direction, which was accelerated. So I have a question for you. What was the path that led you to the realization of this amazing platform, which uh, we'll explore today? Day. Because I can imagine that uh, you didn't call your friend or your cousin to do this. No, no, actually not. No, no, no. Let's say that uh, digital uh, salon was a thought which existed in our minds and COVID simply accelerated. Of course. 
and uh, this acceleration has advantages and disadvantages, so it helps you to move very quickly, but it also gives you a certain type of anxiety because you don't have a lot of time to think about things and to develop things and to decide what's necessary and what's needed. And let's say that we are not one company, we're not a company. We need to think about a digital pl platform which represents all those companies of the salon. We don't have a problem with a single company like yes. when we develop our own website, we've had our difficulties and our own time frames and we can govern it because we own our own website. But in this case, the salon represents all those companies who exhibit. Well, it's a big responsibility that you have. Absolutely, great responsibility because we really had this need of all exhibitors and yes. all the qualities and specificity of every single uh, company which needed to be preserved and also highlighted through this new tool. So in order to do this, we did not... <laughs> we didn't call my cousin, no, no, no. We chose some internationally renowned partners, perhaps the first in the world. And this is because the Salone is... In the world? Yes, in the world, a world leader. We could not get this wrong. The acceleration gave us a little bit of anxiety because, uh, yeah, because we had to do this very, very quickly. But we are also very happy about the result of our efforts. So then, of course, the final judgment will be issued by all our exhibitors who will uh, see it and hopefully approve it. And many are already on board. Registered. Yeah, yeah, they've already registered and uh, they're on, on board. And so the acquisition, the population process of this great container, in our view, will take place after the September presentation and there with the Super Salon in September. Well, we can say that somehow this new platform marks um, uh, a before and after in the life of the Salon del Mobile di Milano. Yes, that's uh, true. It's a fundamental, crucial and founding step of a new dimension that the Salon has, as this is a great success built over 60 years. Therefore, it entails uh, the vision yes, of, of the early founders. Amongst Poro, amongst which Poro? We can tell that we were present from the very first edition. Yeah, that's correct, that's correct. And it proves that at that time, we understood that we needed a physical shop window in order to show the products that our companies were able to produce. And this has reached its uh, zenith, as we have seen, but times change, and therefore we need to amplify our footprint. It's not enough to have six days. Well, it will be active 165 days per year. Absolutely, yeah, exactly. We can't just have the six days of the fair. So for us, this is a new start of the Salone in a virtual dimension, which gives a greater strength to this tool, which we cannot uh, live without. And it's a shop window which we're proud Absolutely. of. Absolutely. Yes. And uh, we, we know we can uh, do our best here. We need to look after it. We need to ensure attention, of course. I'll, I'll, I'll give the floor to Maria. I have a question for her. Because she's a, um, a, 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 she's a management woman. She has had many experiences. You've done everything. You work the two Olympic Olympics um, editions. We'll talk about this later. But um, there's one thing that I would like to understand. You come from a historic company like yours, like Porro, uh, which are the advantages uh, for the companies that will support the exhibition um, in this new amazing platform? Well, I think that the strength lies in the project itself. It's not just a, a platform, it's a new uh, media. And the very interesting thing is the creation designing process because companies were involved in the designing uh, phase with a real working group in which all the companies took part to evaluate all the different steps for the creation of the platform itself. So uh, they will have uh, uh, the possibility to 
to experience this magic of the Salone in a virtual way every day of the uh, of the year. The possibility to have everything in one single container of products, both editorial uh, contents, the real culture of design, which is constantly updated, constantly there. Yeah, which type of context can we expect in the uh, platform? Well, we will have editorial articles. Um, no, we have talk shows, and there's also an interaction uh, feature, which is very interesting. Um, we we just said that uh, over the last uh, year we have learned to live to live more digitally, which is also made of contacts on feedbacks. It's important because we want to make sure that we understand what where we are doing well. We have to change something. This exchange is important, so companies have the possibility to stay in touch with their clients, with the community of the design. 365 days. Um, it's it's an it's a very important continuous exchange, and the Salone attracts people from all over the world, visitors. So all these people, all these contacts uh, from different uh, feed, uh, backgrounds, so um, architects, uh, passionates, and designers, we have access to these people all year round, and this is a very important value. And, uh, of course, uh, let me ask you, everybody who will register will have access. So, so there are no private rooms, just to be clear. Everybody will have access to all the contents. So, well, the real strength of the Salone was uh, the fact that it was open to the public, to everybody. It was a B2B event made for the trade, for the commerce, so that we could create a distribution network. And the platform keeps this feature which is very important and it's open and available to everybody. So companies will have the opportunity to have breakout rooms in which they can talk to their customers, they can do um, webinars which are open to the general public. So it has this double soul, which has always been the double soul of the Salone, because yes, I know, the Salone has always been the most, the most democratic event in uh, absolutely, because it involves everybody. It's something that uh, yeah. It's part of the city, all the people that work at the Salone are um, um, part of it. And it's nice that in the platform we can find this feature, which fits very well um, in, the, uh, in the situation. And now I'll give the floor uh, uh, to my missed husband, let's call it this way. So we were saying that Salone is a leader event. It's the unre unrivaled um, event at world level. However, with this new platform, what will be the impact of the platform on the Salone? We are already uh, at the top, at the peak. What can we reach? Because I think it is a great asset. Yes, it is a crucial asset, and uh, when you're up with the gods, it's hard to get there, but it's hard to stay there. Exactly. And uh, therefore, we have to work a lot every moment, every year, to, in order to try to create something new. I think the physical, in-person salon is crucial and essential, but the platform will be there to accompany this salon for the rest of the world. The salon goes on for six years, for six days. Uh, these are moments which are very intense, full of emotion, of energy. Energy, but we want to ensure that this energy may last as long as possible, thanks to the companies, the products, and the content which we will be able to forward and develop through our digital platform, which will uh, encourage us to supply further fruition, further services, further presence of our salon throughout the world, because we are, uh, thank God, an uh, international event. And uh, this is our objective. And just to remind everyone, uh, from in the Salone, we are visited by 180 countries in the world. Basically, that's practically every country where there is the opportunity, they have uh, operators, practitioners who visit the salon, and this is incredible, and there's a great benefit Absolutely, for us yes. All. It's a leading event, extremely important. 
quite and this message needs to be transferred throughout the world and i believe that this platform will help us a lot and uh, we need to remember the the content portion exactly the portion devoted to the companies and their products and the more uh, uh, fair based service based uh, part which obviously comes to the fore during i have a question that i must uh, ask because many foreign and journalists have been wondering they're very curious to understand i i think that the question the answer is is very obvious why now why do, did you do the platform now but i think that you have already somehow answered yes yes well now because we found ourselves in a situation where we could not hold the in-person event it was a long job it lasted a year with the uh, president Filtin with maria we started a year ago to think about this hypothesis we found uh, uh, some partners as the president said who are uh, examples of excellence and have accompanied us and we were able to put together a team that worked hard in order to reach this result and finally here we are it took us a year but due to the complexity that we had to manage because we don't have one company a company creating a product or a range of products we are serving many 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 companies and uh, in the salon we have 1500 exhibitors so we need to serve all of these and uh, we needed to bear all these things in mind in order to ensure that the pl platform can come to fruition and can be accessible by everybody and i thank once again uh, dr brennan jackala and all the uh, salon team who worked very hard very good yes very good right would like to thank you for for your participation. I won't make any stupid jokes on your last name because I work in the furnishing, uh, furnishing uh, 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 sector and uh, your, 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 in Italian, your last name is uh, a joke. But we have, some, 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 we have one thing in common, one Sanremo uh, festival, music festival. Yes, I was, uh, you are musicians and I, um, I was the presenter and this is an amazing thing and I want to ask you is it most uh, exciting to organize the Salone del Mobile de Milano in 2021 or uh, to to walk on the uh, Sanremo stage because you were uh, you had double role you came from uh, the flower festival to Salone del Mobile of course like the Italian song says to make a table you need a flower but it was amazing well, Sanremo was just a one-off. The Salone keeps us quite busy throughout the year, for the whole year, and it's a great effort and lots of expectations. It's true. And uh, it's a bit like the Olympics, then in a few You have to do everything. Quite, yeah, yeah. And it all finishes all of a sudden. And then at the end of the six days, there's, uh, there's a sense of tiredness. Yes, indeed. Somebody we both know said in the song. Well, we have the great experts of Olympics. Our Maria, you worked at two editions of the Olympics as a as a production supervisor uh, alongside uh, it's like uh, you were part of the uh, dancers circle yeah it was a the mission impossible let's call it this way right with this dream team what can i say i would like to thank you for being with us today i'll talk to you later and uh, now let's deep dive dive into the platform let's see the pla the uh, platform yes
Wow, finalmente entriamo nel wow, well, finally we are getting into the uh, most uh, technical features of these innovative platforms and we have two um, people who are the experts because they are able to, uh, um, to do whatever they, it, it takes to do uh, anything uh, technical. We have uh, uh, the editorial director of the digital projects on Milan, co-founding director of Mr. Lawrence and her Instagram profile could be exhibited at the Venice Biennale, Annalisa Rosso. And um, he is a, a person I've known for many years. He's a fantastic journalist, the founder and director of Italian Tech. And he was the one who um, decided to feature me on the cover of Wire on an issue dedicated to love in the time of robots. And needless to say that I only hooked uh, uh, three microwaves ways and three blenders. Uh, Ricardo Luna, thank you so much. I'm really thrilled to be with you today. And uh, I'll be all ears. I'll, I'll listen to you. I'm so excited to understand. Maybe you want to start from the most, uh, let's say, complex uh, part, which is a technical part. Yes, well, uh, we present the platform as though it were a mysterious object, and there's an African proverb which says... Oh, yes, of course, you couldn't think of a more, an easier one. The best time to do this thing is a long time ago, but as we didn't do it before, the best time is now. Why now? Because of the pandemic. The pandemic has been a formidable digital accelerator with all the tragedy it brought. Let's say a positive thing. Absolutely. And uh, this should have happened in 2026, but from a digital point of view, we're in 2030. And the, we all do things that we didn't know we could do. And the word that we use this year a lot is yes. resilience. The fact that digital allowed us through smart working and remote learning, and even just uh, purchasing pizzas online to... Even uh, feeling closer to each other. Yes, and to survive. And the other word is anti-fragility. Basically, it's taking the opportunity of what happened, not only to resist and adapt, but to progress. Today, there is a market which is much further ahead than where we thought we would be, and consumers would be, and companies would be. When you went to a company a year ago and you said, look, uh, you need to come on my platform, they'd say, well, why? I'm fine. I don't need it. When you went to a client, and they'd say exactly yes. the same stuff. But but now everybody understood that this is really important. And also what a platform is. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And luckily we are going back to the life we had before, but it's not the life we had before. It's the earlier life with digital and This is an immense value. Today, companies know how to use digital and the in-person. I'm all much advantaged. Much better than before, exactly. And this has given us a lot of problems, but there are many more millionaires than before. These The Silicon Valley companies are richer than before. And this is an opportunity for all of those who rotate, gravitate around the salon of the mobile in order to sell all year round in order to widen their client base. We could not, not do I fully agree with you. Can I ask you um, what will be the innovations? Well, actually, they did it. I just looked at it. I didn't actually make it. But uh, what impressed me is that it puts together not only all the companies, but it's an ecosystem. It's yes. like a social network. And it's the best of content publishing as well. So basically, if you're passionate about design, you know where to go. And this is obviously our project, and we need to be able to well, bring it home. And I think Annalisa, she's very good. We have, She's a, a fantastic curator. She's an amazing... Uh, uh, passionate about design, who better than you to take these important decisions and you also have a big responsibility, but you, you can do this and I'm sure you can do this uh, job very well. What will be uh, contained into the uh, platforms? It will contain everything, will include everything. What Ricardo says uh, is, is very f right, it's correct. Because like it happens in the uh, physical fair, because when we started to think, OK, what's going to be of oh, this uh, platform? We understood that it had to be the best uh, that Salone has always offered, which is uh, an amazing network made of um, companies, products, pro uh, inno innovations, focus or passionate uh, people in the field, buyers, designers, uh, architects, and then the whole design world. And we also have sectorial magazines. So we created uh, this platform 
platform, and I'll repeat myself, this is a sort of a hub, which is a gathering point, which um, it's a social network somehow. Yeah, it's a sort of a histogram. It's a huge uh, meeting point in which people meet. There is a strong interaction uh, feature. There's a lot of uh, there are many uh, updates, and the magazines uh, were very generous. They uh, provided us with their best uh, contents, their best videos and the pictures. So it has become um, a hub. Like in, and like in the uh, Salone week, when you go into the fair and you meet people and um, new uh, network uh, uh, systems um, trigger, in this new platform that uh, lasts 365 days will allow to generate and activate these connections and to have more international um, contacts, like the Salone del Mobile has been in Milano. Yes, uh, uh, perhaps this part is not yet active today, but there's that, what we call yes. like Zoom, it's video, exactly. video calls, video conferencing, because we lived uh, a year on Zoom, Teams, streaming, whatever it is. It is already integrated. Quite, it's on board with the platform. And this is uh, uh, breakout yes. rooms. This is basically, they're separate rooms where a buyer can interact with a, a producer. It's an amazing feature. Yes, because it, it carries everything inside. Well, we left this to the companies, uh, the uh, companies that take part to this salon are so different, so many. So we allow them to uh, decide whether they could um, have their own space to uh, be uh, faithful to their identity. So they will have uh, their own page in which they uh, decide what to um, uh, upload as contents. And they also have the option to decide which are the interaction options that they want to activate, the, the, the digital events, chat uh, Breakout rooms. There are so many features. We're just starting now. And I was uh, telling uh, um, uh, Sabeta earlier on many times uh, um, you, you make a huge effort to create something that uh, doesn't last so long, like the Salone and other amazing huge events. So the fact that this is going to be a long lasting event and we can still have visibility through the platform, I think this is another uh, interesting uh, aspect. The fact that it doesn't finish after a week, that uh, the, the spotlight is not going to go down off after one week. Well, you, you can tell you right, because this is also um, requires um, a, a growth process, and feedback will be very important. Everything is going to be um, centered into one single place, so the international contributors, the interactive technologies, the magazines. You can find everything uh, on the website. Um, on the other hand, you have everything together, and for the first time, we are ready to see what will happen and to react accordingly. And the most amazing thing, uh, if we talk about breakout rooms, there, there is also the possibility to organize uh, Q&A sessions and to interact. This is another engagement theme, uh, to uh, interact with the audience, being able to communicate. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And of course, this comes in a very important moment. I'm so thrilled that we're going live today because we are talking about a new reality. We are facing challenges that we haven't faced um, never in the past. Unprecedented times. This is the right time to go live and to react with new ideas. Yes, and if I may, the, the most difficult thing is to convince people to come on board. There's the Nadia yes. Moretti effect. Will they notice me more if I go or if I don't go? But I, I think normally that's the problem, but you brought them all on board. How did you convince them? Well, communication was important. We were working for a long time with our providers, with our companies. We listened for so long time. And we tried to um, uh, get all the different requirements. The opposite effect. Everybody goes on and nobody wants to stay Of course. Out, so everybody wants to it get always out. happens like this. Yeah, there's a critical mass. And once you go beyond that, people say, well, you didn't call me and I want to be on board as well. So that probably happens too. Yes. It is happening indeed. Well, the, 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 the Salone del Mobile di Emiliano brand has, is per se um, an amazing uh, uh, um, uh, 
brand. So it's very difficult to say no to this uh, offer. Of course, uh, uh, we also added an additional layer we, we thought was uh, very important. Absolutely. I would like to thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Um, good luck for everything. I also wanted to um, uh, give you a spoiler uh, uh, after this uh, first uh, edition uh, there will also be the uh, famous breakout room that we mentioned earlier on in which you will find uh, people who talk about the uh, super salon but I want to give you other information let's not do the spoiler uh, you can leave the, your questions in the Q&A box so thank you again Annalisa so, and uh, Ricardo Luna, uh, some people want to say uh, hello from the president of the Lombardy region. Hello, everyone. And after more than one year of uh, static speed, the Salon de Mobile is back in Milan and in Lombardy. It's a unique, extraordinary event for the promotion of one of the peaks of excellence of the Italian production in the world. Today, we launched the new digital platform of the Salon del Mobile. This is a showcase which tells the story of technological innovation made in, in Italy, and it brings uh, it's uh, the uh, forerunner of the Super Salon from the 5th to the 10th of September in Milan. The presence of the consulate representatives today, whom I thank for cooperating concretely with us, and they always have shown care and attention towards the Lombardy region, and this is very important, both because it contributes to promote and to circulate our savoir-faire in the world. Milan and Lombardy are ready and open to welcome with enthusiasm enthusiasm the visitors from all over the world to mark the Super Salone. So we await all of you and thank you. And I would like to thank uh, all the people uh, who left messages. And uh, we are now ready to talk about the Super Salone. I would like to remind you that from September 5th until the 10th, Fiera Milano Ro. And I think that uh, we will find out amazing things. I'm looking forward to that. Because we have with us the co-curators and Mani Munede people. What can I say about this person? You um, have already uh, uh, seen this person. Uh, what can I say? He's a professor, he's a world-renowned uh, architect, and he's a, um, a visionary because he was a wishful thinker because he, alongside Sabeta, was one of the few people who believed uh, from the very beginning from the, uh, in the uh, victory of the Italian uh, football championships from the Inter. Welcome and welcome uh, Marco Sabeta. So last, uh, first thing, with Boeri, uh, uh, the Salone becomes a super Salone. So I want to understand, when you were called, what was your first reaction? Like, okay, let's be honest, uh, this is a very ambitious project. As uh, President Fontana, we were, uh, not, mm, we were um, uh, stopped for a long time. So what was your first reaction, uh, apart from saying, I want to see my, my shrink? Well, uh, like Antonio Conto, the, I'm, I was that kind yes. of trainer who's called in when there's a situation of difficulty. So uh, our hearts go over the mountain and we are there. We knew it would be wonderful to hold a salon at a time where the pandemic still casts its shadow. This is a, a time where seven months later there will be the great 2022 salon. So in general, a situation which is not easy. It's a wonderful challenge, and therefore we decided I called a wonderful group of curators and architects, and I said, we're going to do something absolutely uh, unique and unmissable, because this is the only way today to think about not missing the opportunity for this salon, not to hold it for two years. It's a wound. It is a wound indeed. Yeah, and I immediately felt this. I immediately felt that nobody uh, can even imagine that Milan might lose the Salone del Mobile. It's a suicide. Yeah, we agree. We do agree. Absolutely. You just quoted uh, uh, the co-curators, because 
This is an amazing, uh, uh, important and challenging uh, uh, work, which was accomplished in a very short time. So can you um, name them? Yes. Yes, but I called the best. I if you don't them. name the best, who else? It wasn't the youth team. It was the professional team who worked with me. And I said to them, I said, look, uh, in Milan, Shanghai and everything, but I think that the most important international dimension Maria Testina Nicleri is a great uh, friend and curator who has always moved with uh, yes. a connection She's a friend. with the world of she... fashion. Lucas Beckberg, who is a uh, yes. Italian-German designer who worked on the use of materials as well as being a great designer. And from this point of view, he is truly our spearhead, uh, Nacogni, who is in Lacay in Lausanne. And uh, as far as innovative uh, design, she did incredible things. Uh, we'll talk about her in, in a second. And I want to anticipate your question. about. Them, but we talk about the school and the exhibition. Sure, sure. And then uh, uh, all the, the uh, George Durant coordinated the studio. So it's truly a, an exceptional group. And then Folder. Folder is uh, a team of designers and graphic designers who have the ability to govern an image, even a, a two-dimensional image. And so they helped us on content. Well, first, the first thing that I want to ask you, to oh, okay, what's the situation? Are we uh, what the uh, work in progress situation? Well, yesterday we went to see the first modules, the first prototype. They are wonderful, and uh, it will be quite incredible because you're used to entering all yes. the various marquees with the stands, which are basically big rooms, and they're a replica to what happens in Milan for many companies who have a It's a sort of showroom. Yes, exactly. It won't be that one, no. Well, there will be uh, wall, flexible walls uh, hosting products. Everything will be vertical. That's what I've been told. And Yes. Which is your passion? Absolutely. It's perhaps a limited mind, but I want everything to be vertical. And there will be both a forest and vertical. The two ingredients can't be missed. Um, we always have those ingredients. Yeah, of course, one, one moves. It will be like a Jamiro Quay style on the walls. Yes, I don't think that will happen, but these elements, of course, will be there. Uh, this will be a completely different yes. space. It's basically a feast of objects, a feast of, of fixtures and fittings. I remember it's going to be a wonderful thing. I remember. It's also my great passion. Yeah, I remember this, this. The sample fair was one of a great happiness, a family meeting. There's a dim commercial dimension, but also True. playful and a cultural dimension as to what we need to do to make this super salone become a commercial event because everybody will be able to Exactly. This is an yeah. important thing that we have to say that's important. First of all, it's um, uh, open to everybody. Everybody can take part, not just uh, those people working in the industry, but also the great innovation is about uh, this platform that can uh, combine the physical and the digital. And, and it's, it's the digital, it's the new term that has just been adopted. It, it, it reminds me of Dua Lipa songs, physical. It's, it's, it's truly important because it gives an idea as to how we all learn to use digital tools, but we all understand that they can't replace the intimacy. The experience. The experience, exactly. Not only experience between bodies and among bodies, but touching objects as well. Objects have their own strength, and the objects of Italian design, but uh, we're talking international, of course, but I don't want to, but every object has a color, gravity, material presence. They project a shadow. Materials. Yes, and they are everything. And this is not replaceable by an image on one's smartphone. 
and therefore we need to fuse this experience which is alive direct the best of all objects of all companies in the world with the extraordinary agility the unique agility that a QR code can give you with direct access onto the platform of, course. of the salon absolutely yes. and resellers can access because this. Uh, um, at the time when you had um, uh, the fair to choose the uh, samples we didn't have much time to interact with people but now we uh, break all those uh, barriers and uh, um, most important if I understand well, I can access, I see something that I like. As soon as I understand uh, what it is, I can buy it. Yes, and if, yes if of I course may, you can I, do I this. Give, give you some advice. So I go around, I need a chair, say, I need a table, and I see maybe 50. Because once again, differently to what happens when you go into a showroom in Milan, I have everything there. The, the best of. Everything, all the chairs. And therefore, I uh, create a a uh, shopping cart at the beginning, I look and at I buy them. them, and then I buy, I choose two and I buy them. That's this good. is the revolutionary part, it's unique, it doesn't exist elsewhere in the world, no, is no. it? Correct. No, and that's uh, rather than going into a stand, in another one, going upstairs, yeah. getting a coffee, calling, and that's nice, it's a wonderful formula, of course, but this is so easy. Can we say officially, Jess Bezos, you know, be, be ready, we are coming. Yes, okay. sure. You, um, you mentioned the stands, and uh, what I like is the attention uh, on the sustainable uh, feature of this salone, which is a fundamental aspect, which is also um, uh, your trademark, because you are uh, a person who has always worked towards sustainability. So it will be a green salone. All the uh, stands and the uh, exhibition stands will be reusable, which is something in, that, in my opinion, is very interesting. Yes, that's right, because uh, it's, uh, I say so as the president of the Triennale as well, when I see all the setup and these machines come around and mulch it all yes. down, it just is completely meaningless. So everything that is done can be reused by the fair, by the next year's salon, and by anybody who wishes, because we will make them available. This is all the panels and also all the uh, joints. Exactly, I understand. Clear. So in order to be able to imagine reuse, one needs to pre-think how to disassemble things. I can see you in the night trying to think how to reuse things. Apart from this, there is another uh, nice thing that I've noticed, and you um, um, you, you told, talked about this uh, forest, which well, Inter is not involved. Well, in the following talk shows, you mentioned some uh, features, some things about uh, Inter, yes, I'm yeah, sure. I will. But there will be this uh, amazing uh, forest in, in, inside the fair. You will have also a design marzipan uh, house. Tell me that you put one, yes. at least. But, yeah, Maybe the poultry is super leggera, we can include that. And uh, in fact, there will be the presence of all the most beautiful chairs of Italy awarded for the Compasso d'Oro, which will give us a possibility to, with the opportunity to sit on them and uh, with uh, the curator of Adi. Uh, and this is uh, sitting as power, sitting as commonality. So all the variations of the, the seat, the seating, and a chair, let's say, uh, obviously, whenever I think about design, I think about a chair. Yes. And so is the super light chair will be present as well. As but there won't be any marzipan house in the forest. It would be nice. Maybe think about a, a giant uh, um, Maris Greater. But there was also something which was part of the exhibition. You have time. Maybe think about the marzipan idea. This is important. Um, uh, and it's somehow an invitation. As well. Yes, and this is They're amazing, uh, this, this super light. Have won the uh, Compasso d'Oro. It's a super light chair, yes. 
It could be. And of course, uh, there was another exhibition which we mentioned uh, before, which is the one dedicated to schools, uh, the uh, lost graduation show. From all of the world, 73. From all the world. Yes, from all of the world, all continents, about 200 uh, products. And the wonderful thing is that schools reacted yes. wonderfully. And this also tells us what Milan is. Let's never forget that Italy has the great greatest communication promotion platform for design of the world. This is the Salone, and we cannot in any way lose this opportunity. Of course, what we need to make it emerge, this is our city, and what happens in the fair is also fundamental. So schools all uh, come along, and they come along with the products, the most beautiful products of the last two years, which were selected. Well, also based on their own experiences, they will reflect uh, the, the story moments that we are yes. living. Which type of projects can we expect from the schools? Well, they, they do vary a lot. There will be objects uh, working on renewable energy. Sustainability. Yes, absolutely. Uh, working. Uh, there will be some uh, projects which uh, function with uh, wind or solar power, more classic projects, but rethought with recyclable materials, for example. And there is an interesting effort. Uh, this is uh, based on proximity and distance. I've seen a few things. I won't give away too much, but uh, they are ways of thinking that the homes, our homes, which perhaps we have lived in a bit too yeah, intensely I should say in so. months, yes, uh, some have small homes, and the fact that they are able to change over a short uh, period of time with of course, they yeah, can they be adapted? Things. So a bed becomes a table, things which are uh, come down from the ceiling, a place which becomes an office, and then an That reminds me, if you may allow me, maybe the foreigners will understand us or not. Maybe an interpreter, for instance, a, a, a comic movie by an act, Italian actor, uh, Pozzetto, which was called uh, I'm, I'm Gonna Live By Myself. Absolutely, yes, and, the, and along with Gioconte, his two uh, uh, comments, and this could be the name of the Super Salon, we could use that film. Actually. Right. I would like to ask you, please tell me something that hasn't been um, released yet. Tell me uh, a spoiler, something, because I'm sure you did many interviews, but I want to know something uh, beforehand, because talk shows will be another in important uh, event, and it, was a key, it will be a key point of the Super Salon. I want some spoilers, I want some names. Please, give me some names. Well, we are talking with uh, a very wide-ranging world of designers, architects, artists. Aston Heller, for example. Aston Heller will be with us and he's a wonderful Amazing. character. Yeah, he, along with, uh, he's a scientist, an artist, somebody who knows how to work on irony, but with a great depth of thought. And that's just one, just to mention one, but I'll say something that uh, isn't well known yet that we also called those who are called makers today. So, in, in, within the Super Salone? The super Salone among the various uh, uh, marquees and stands and so on, but it will be a very varied state, uh, space, but will be based on the interplay between these flexible walls. There will be companies, there will be schools, the chairs uh, awarded Compasso d'Oro, and the exactly. makers' products. What are makers? They are designers who produce their own objects by substantially using uh, 3D printers, and there are uh, hundreds yes. today. Some of them have become important. That's amazing. Yes, with international uh, breadth. So, this is something truly new to have the presence yes, of Yes, because usually we also always had the impression that the big names were there. Yes, but this time we called all of them. So th this will give yes. uh, new, great visibility to the newcomers, Absolutely. and uh, it will be pushed by this amazing platform. Yes, and uh, clearly this is also a research on innovative material. When you work with the 3D printer, you have to deal with materials that are able to transform any idea into three dimensions. Well, now they design 3D. How 
houses. It's sure, amazing. Sure, sure. So, I also have another question for you. I know that you're getting continuous uh, requests to take part in the Topper Salone. Do you have uh, something in your wish list that you would like to uh, to do? Someone, uh, some other companies that you would like to take part? Um, well, <laughs> I'm sure we don't even well, know this. Uh, tell us something person, but uh, keeping it general, I hope we were talking about this, the uh, pop word is a bit ambiguous. But do I adore pop? No. Well, we shouldn't rule out the pop, because pop is good. Pop is culture, it's great. That what gets to everybody. And we know the difference. Yeah, a bit of rock as well. It is rock as well, a little bit, yes. Good work. So you would like yes, maybe. to have the Super Asano to be a rock, and to, you like the idea to bring the city inside the Salone. Yes. This is a truly. I think it's your challenge. Yeah, this was, was well put. If we had to summarize in a simple way these years, certainly the city of Milan has absorbed a world linked to commerce, the ability of uh, companies to have a showroom and to manage products. So it's become a fair. What we're doing with the Super Salon is bring the city in the fair the other way around. So those who take uh, 20 minutes on the metro and or we'll go by car to the Rock Fair. It's a wonderful space, by the way, and uh, it's, a, it's a fair, but it's also an exhibition. It's a feast, a uh, fair. With uh, many events, and this platform. Yes, it will be uh, the uh, uh, event. It's a very important event as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, food, Italian food design with the best chefs, so we'll eat well, I'm sure. Yes. And also there will be many uh, surprises uh, meaning visits from abroad, buyers, journalists, and I saw over the last few days we we're working on uh, trying to bring in a series of guests, and we invited them, and they said, no, no, I'm already going to come, I'm already sorted, I'm coming. Even countries where there are some difficulties, no, they want to come, they are coming, they're coming to Milan, they're coming to Super Salone. Well, and this is a wonderful I, thing. I think this is obvious, it's natural, because this is the most important event worldwide uh, for design. There's nothing else. There's no other event. This is the uh, design absolutely. super world. Yeah, absolutely. And this takes place at a time. I know we've said this before, but there is a We need culture. Desire. We need uh, uh, impact. We need uh, great desire nourishing. Uh, to invest in improving our domestic space and, and life. So there is a great request on the part of what they call yes. the market. It's not very nice to say to call it the market, but it, it means families, it means individuals, it means uh, uh, a composite families which represent the most beautiful part of our society and it's what they express. So from this point of view too, it's wonderful. And then China. China yes. has opened up to this and it's very interesting. This is from yesterday, there is a, a possibility to for, for arrivals from China. Yeah, so that's another a whole yes, other of course. situation. Right. So I would like to thank you. I think I've asked you uh, everything I wanted to uh, uh, know from you. I truly hope to be present at the inauguration. If, I, if you don't invite me, I'm going to be upset. Yeah, no, we'll take note of that. But there's one thing I just wanted to add. First of all, I'd like to thank Stefano Boeri who has accepted and uh, has uh, truly uh, bitten the bullet. He's our Conte. And I'm a Marotta, kind of, uh, but uh, without the director getting upset about it. Yeah, then uh, I'll uh, exactly. I finish. I'll sort of pass everything over, pass well, back over to him. Are you going to be the Mourinho's? Uh, no, you're going to go and you're going to leave and you'll come back. Anyway, we'll see what happens. But the group is wonderful as a co curator the group was uh, created very very quickly and i'd like to underline this and it will be amazing yes experience something different something fantastic something innovative a time of great uh, emotional impact it will be a time where 
all the passion that these the companies and designers infuse in what we go and see will come about. And let's remember that the success of all this is made from the passion, out of the passion that all those working on it uh, put into it, and therefore it transpires outward. I fully agree with you, because without passion, you can't do anything. And I think that's uh, such an amazing initiative in uh, such a short time. It wouldn't have been possible. So thank you so much for your efforts. And I'm looking forward. I'm so curious, so excited to see the Super Salone and to take part to the Super Salone. And I wish many, many more events. So so let's organize next year the Godzilla Salone. It would be an idea. Thank you so much. Marco Sabeta and Stefano Boeri and so you don't know but I'm telling you we went to into um, into uh, the field to see the state of the art of the Salone and we went into the Boeri uh, studio and I haven't seen it yet and I was imagining that there could be some Asher uh, scales there could be a, a, a a vertical forest um, and also a cycling as a, a route towards your coffee maker. Let's see. Together with the Andrea Caputo studio, we are organizing the exhibition at this year's Salon del Mobile. We are organizing the layout for the companies, which will be housed in uh, vertical wall modules and will also have horizontal space with a platform to display the products. The companies are invited to customize the vertical wall, both by inserting their uh, products and the objects and by also including a storytelling community and other elements can, they can tell the story of the product on display at the fair. Together with Stefano Boris team, we are working specifically at the reception area, which will be located on the eastern forecourt, which normally accommodates the flow of the metro and also the pedestrian entrance. We are working together with Forestami on a major forestation campaign for the city of Milan, trying to create a direct link between the city as well and the fair. There will be about 200 trees to create this space that looks like a forest and we will accompany people towards the entrance to the fair with these trees. With the Stefano Buer Interior Studio, we are dealing with the project in planning the common areas which will be integrated within the itinerary which is inhabited by exhibitors. In the common areas, we will have a great uh, food court where visitors will be able to have a break, relax and eat. We'll also have a large itinerary with the Compasso d'Oro exhibition and the large projects uh, created by the Design and Architecture International School contributors. And there will be an arena where there will be talks and a very rich program of events throughout the Salone. Well, finally, I was so looking forward to see uh, Boeri's uh, uh, office. So I would like to thank you, everybody, because we were able uh, to sneak into their office to see what's the situation. Okay, we have uh, another uh, moment. Another person wants to talk to you. The government was very uh, efficient and did not waste any time, as well as the fair system, which has celebrated seven events over these 10 days. And the same for the Italian trade agency that set up 53 international fairs between here and the end of the year, including the Salona del Mobile. We could not do without this. Salona del Mobile is an iconic event of Made in Italy, which bears and represents the design and create 
activity of the ability to do and the Italian lifestyle throughout the world, as I've seen and as I can witness, having visited the uh, Salone in Milan, Moscow, and Shanghai. It's wonderful that in September there is an edition of Super Salone, a new edition reinvented due to the circumstances, which is able to gather together uh, the uh, exhibition and buyers and visitors and amplifying its effect online. Uh, each uh, uh, Italian trade agency supports us with an, uh, an even deeper commitment than in previous years, and we hope to find many Italian exhibitors who can make this commercial event have the correct feedback that we expect from for design and furnishing for tourism and for the entire city of Milano. Happy Salone. I would like to thank uh, um, President Carlo Ferro. So we are getting to the end of our event. So I would like to invite you again to the Salone. Please don't miss it. Please put it into your agenda from the September the 5th uh, to the 10th. Piera Milano Ro. You can't miss it. It will be an amazing forest to welcome you. You will find all the information and all the details on this amazing platform which is going live today. So please uh, visit this platform because you can find a bit of everything. I would like to thank all my guests who are also our hosts today. So thank you, Maria Porro, Petrin, uh, and Marco Sabeta, our general director of Salone del Mobile Milano. I'm so happy to have a chat with you today and to have um, some uh, um, the spoilers on the Salone and on this uh, fantastic platform. So I would like to uh, say goodbye now. Alla prossima. And uh, see you soon. We look forward to seeing you next time. And uh, um, we look forward to seeing you and greeting you at the Salone. So you you stole my words. Uh, you never disappoint me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Goodbye.